So we're having issues with lots of clunking and loud noise from the, uh, the new suspension. Brian, what's going on? All right, so we changed over the top hats. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's something maybe it's just not tight enough or there's a little gap in between the shock rod and the top hat. Right at the very, at the very bottom right there, right? Yeah, at the very bottom. It's really hard to see. It's not really that much of a gap, but it's enough. Yeah, it's like an eighth of an inch, but every time the, the shock compresses just a little bit, just bang, bang, bang. Yeah. So. This car has I'm the most wicked sounds going diagnose on. Diagnose right how to fix that, whether it's with washers or maybe I can tighten it a little more. Yeah. I'm gonna figure that out. Cool. Got a heavy duty spring compressor. Uh, this is for the uh, people working on monster trucks, that's why. I'm not sure whether it's oh, easier. Like it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I'm not sure whether it's easier or more difficult to use. <laughs> kind of more difficult. You want to lay this on the ground and sit that on top like it's a one of those alien masks. <laughs> There yeah, you go. there you go. Now we're in. Oh. There's our problemo. Problemo is a small little gap. Yep. Letting that move, and then that's clunking, but that clunk sounds like a thousand <laughs> times louder inside the car. Yeah, it echoes. Echoes straight cool. through the cabin. Cool. So what? The idea is to take the top hat off and possibly put some washers uh, in there? Yep, I'm going to see if I can just put some washers in it. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Should be perfect. See one of those? Alright. Got some fat ass washers. And uh, the idea is what? We're going to drill this out? Yeah, they're just slightly too small on the inner diameter. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to drill it out a little more. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Air is amazing for drilling. Yeah. Go. Alright, see if it goes on. Yeah, so close. It's pretty much. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna keep it right like that because that is perfectly tight. All right. Sweet. I might just take a file in there and maybe file it down here. All right. So that that. So problem is when this piece goes on, there's too much of the collar underneath sticking out. Mm-hmm which is not allowing the nut to tighten all the way down. Hmm. So, take that back off, put a washer here, then put that back on, and now it's flush. Yes. Put the one that came off back on first, mm -hmm. and then put the fat one on. Got no wobble. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Troubleshooting. Yeah. That's how I get this thing to work. So you're gonna need some washers. Need some washers. If you want to use the, the stock top hats. If no. not, if not, you can drill new holes and just use the Forester top hats. You just gotta match up the holes because these are different. So you just have to drill new holes in the strut tower. Yep. This is way but, easier. Two washers. Yep, get a couple washers and you're good. Put it back together, put it back in. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna decompress the spring. And... Cool. Sweet. Alright. Oh, yeah. No wobbling, nothing. That's perfect. So now, 
on to the next one. Fix my car. Yeah, but you know what else we did? I just drove up on a curb. Drove over everything. Except for my car. Don't drive over my car. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, share the video, and we'll see you next time.